Family Tale, written by Rose, read by Swish Dump. One evening, Granny Smith is sitting in her rocking chair and half past sleep after dinner. Apple Bloom walked in, and she walked up to her grandmother. Granny Smith, who was my granddad? Asked Apple Bloom. Granny Smith looks at her granddaughter with a smile. Apple Bloom is smiling back to her grandmother. How will you want to know about him? Asked Granny Smith. I came to mind after meeting my maternal grandfather, grandparent the other day, so I'm curious about my paternal grandfather. Answered Apple Bloom. What do you want to know about? Asked Granny Smith. All you can tell," replied Apple Bloom. "Okay, go get the food album, and I will tell you all about your paternal grandfather," said Granny Smith. Granny Smith rises from the rocking chair and sits on the couch. Apple Bloom went to the bookshelf and fetched a food album and went to the couch. Sit down, and I will tell you. Back then, everyone called me Apple Pie. Your paternal grandfather, Haystack, was born in Trottingham," said Granny Smith. "Why did he come to Ponyville?" asked Apple Bloom. "He didn't like the big, big city life, and chose to move here for a calmer and wanted to start his own farm," said Granny Smith. "He had a good time in Ponyville than in a big city." And had many good friends here," said Granny Smith. When Granny Smith looks at some old pictures of Haystack, she immediately remembers the old memories. She then tells some of the memories for Apple Bloom. Flashback. Apple Pit Pie is looking for Haystack on the farm, but she couldn't find him. Where are you, here, Haystack? Asked Apple Pie. But then, Haystack jumped out from behind his hideout, and Apple Pie jumped in the air and looked at Haystack. "Don't do it again," said Apple Pie. "Sorry, just wanted to surprise you," said Haystack. Haystack went to Apple Pie and chatted a little bit with her, and she was not angry anymore, but laughed and smiled. He looks at her because he has something to say to her. Haystack is holding out a ring and looking at apple pie. Are you ready to get married? Asked Haystack. Apple pie was surprised, but looking at Haystack and smiled at him with tears in her eyes. For you, I would think it said, said apple pie. I love you so much, Apple Pie," said Haystack. Apple Pie leans forward and kisses Haystack, who kisses back. They both felt so happy together, especially Haystack, who was so much in love with Apple Pie, who was his true love. I'm ready. Nothing would make me happier," said Apple Pie. Good," said Haystack. After that, Apple Pie and Haystack had been married for a year. Haystack had been into town for some deliveries from of some apples. "I'm back, honey," said Haystack. Haystack entered the house and sees that Apple Pie is on the couch reading a book. "I have news," said Apple Pie. It's not wired, is it? Asked Haystack. No, replied Apple Pie. Apple Pie. What is it? Asked Haystack and looked at his wife. You will be a father soon, replied Apple Pie. That great news, said Haystack. Haystack walked up to his wife and hugged her and had tears in his eyes and nostrils with her. Even Apple Pie, she was so happy to be a mother, and she was looking forward 
to be a mother. Some months later at the farm, Apple Pie and Haystack had their baby, and they got a son, which they named Bright Mac. He's so cute, he's just what the farm needs, said Haystack. He looks like you, said Apple Pie. Apple Pie nuzzles with her husband while their baby was in the crib next to the bed. End of the flashback. What happened to him? asked Apple Blue. One winter, there was a fever that went through Ponyville and he got it. And he died a week later, replied Granny Smith. How sad, said Apple Blue. Yes, I miss him, but Kids Apple Blossom at the bottom of this was his happy bottom. This is yours now, said Granny Smith. Thanks, Granny. I'll take care of it. And what I have to show my friends and thanks for telling me, said Apple Bloom. When Apple Bloom leaves, Granny Smith gets a photo of a Haystack holding Bright Mac, smiling and tears in his eyes. I cannot be away for over 55 years, said Christmas. One day, Haystack, we will meet again, said Christmas. The end.